Hello there, my name is Rachel. Um, I'm 22 years old and I graduated from university last year. I studied fashion styling and image making at Salford University, which was so much fun. The course itself was brilliant. There was loads of room for each student to do exactly what they want and have the freedom to express themselves. I had to complete an art foundation course in order to be accepted onto the fashion course because unfortunately my two grade C's at A-level just didn't quite meet the mark. Uh, I studied this at Salford Uni uh, because I knew that as long as I'd passed that course I'd get onto the next course, which of course meant a further year of student loans but I'm really glad I did it instead of going to college because as any student will tell you the first year of university is your wildest and by the time I got to the actual fashion course, I was ready to settle down and do my work. By the time August came, I'd probably applied for around 500 jobs, from assistant photographer to working in bars and restaurants. At that point, I needed a job to pay the bills, not to launch my career, so I ended up in a cafe in the city centre. I was spending all of my free time applying for more jobs, and another 100 job applications later, um, I was eventually contacted by an agency who discovered my CV and offered me a role in customer services for an e-commerce fashion brand. It was an okay role, but nothing like what I wanted to do. Uh, I tried working my way through the company, but again was told that I didn't have enough experience. And then, thanks to a friend introducing me to hire people, I was offered the opportunity to become a product photographer for their sister company, which of course I snapped up straight away. There I learned a lot. I learned how to handle myself in different situations, be professional yet casual, and of course I had hand-on experience on, of the job. I loved going to work every day to take photos. It may seem like an easy job to some, but it wasn't as easy as point and shoot, and that's what I loved about it. Whilst I was there, I unfortunately stopped promoting myself and stopped looking around for more work because I believed I was going to be there for a long time. Unfortunately though, due to budget cuts, I was let go, only after a few months. Now I'm unemployed again and back on the desperate job search. As I know from my previous experience, this could take a long time and I will probably apply for hundreds of roles before I hear anything positive. For anybody out there who's job hunting like me, don't give up, don't lose faith. I know that there is a role out of me that I'll be suited to and it could be the absolutely perfect job for me to start my career just like it could be with you. Just keep going, you'll get there eventually. The main thing I learned whilst being unemployed was build on your CV. Don't leave uni and then spend the rest of your life looking for that entry role that everyone will say you have enough experience for. It'll just not work. If you've done a course like me, anything arty and creative, do more work. Don't leave it at what you did at university. For one thing, a year later, that work is out of date and boring. And who wants to see that? I'm now looking for freelance work anywhere I can, paid or not. Anything that can help me build my portfolio and help show employers I'm passionate about getting into work is a great help. Plus, it means I'm not sat at home applying for jobs every day, which is a very important factor. Don't overload yourself with job applications because you will start to become depressed and fed up. Take breaks, do something creative and keep that part of your mind working. If you did a more academic course such as maths or English, do volunteer work. Go to your local accountant and say you'll work for free to do anything to do with accounting at all. Or your local publishing office and say that you'll make coffees as long as you're getting contacts in the business you want to do whilst you're doing it. If you can't find anything like that, turn to charity volunteering for both arty and academic students. You may think that it's got nothing to do with what I want to do, why should I? But believe me, employers love to see that kind of thing. If you can show that you're so fed up with being unemployed that you volunteered to work for free to help others whilst doing it, employers will eat it up and you'll find it much easier to get noticed and stand out from the other 60 people applying for those jobs that you are. Of course, I'm afraid I can't give much advice for an academic student, as I'm sure it'll be quite different for me, but trust me, volunteering will help. I've actually gotten a bit lucky myself recently, and I've been offered the opportunity to film some behind-the-scenes footage and interviews for a photo shoot in the city centre for a new clothing brand, which unfortunately is unpaid. 
So next week you'll get to see some of that and I'll go through some CV tips and advice for the creative job hunters out there as well as the benefits of freelancing. So until then on grads.co.uk I'll see you next week.